Hey guys, it's Alex Sanchez. I'm filling in for Jen this week on the April 29th edition of the Opensource.com Top 5. So let's get started and take a look at this week's top articles. First up this week is an article from developer Tracy Miranda where she takes a look at five uh, scientific workbenches for the Eclipse development environment. Um, these tools are all great and can help scientists and researchers quickly make sense of their data. Next up is an article from Jason Baker that takes a look at the Raspberry Pi Sense app. It's a low-cost add on board uh, that can measure things like temperature, humidity, and more. And with Phos4G just around the corner in Raleigh, North Carolina, uh, we decided to take a look at seven really cool GIS projects that are powered by open source software. After that, we've got an article from Mark Bohannon that takes a look at the U.S. federal government's proposed policy to open source 20% of all new government code. After that, we've got a great interview with one of the people behind Panoptes. Uh, that is an ambitious project that's aiming to create a network of low-cost telescopes that can help us see more of the night sky uh, and help prevent issues with things like weather. And to round everything out, we've got an honorable mention in this week's top five. It's the Open Source Yearbook Giveaway. Uh, we're giving away 10 hardcover copies of the print edition that we just announced this week. So be sure to check that out. And that does it for this week's top five. Have a great weekend, everybody.